Good frigid morning, everybody. Um, it's about 7.30. Uh, second, well, it's officially our first day on the trail if we get to Springer today. But uh, we were uh, talking as we were just coming up here. We're about a mile from the lodge right now, heading up the approach trail. Been doing a little bit of climbing, so I'm huffing a little bit. But uh, we were talking about the old Walk in the Woods book, movie, if you haven't seen it. It's pretty funny. It's about a couple guys decided to go hiking the Appalachian Trail. It's a lot of similarity to us, to us but since that uh, title's been taken, we uh, were talking about what we should name books. Should we write one? And we started out with uh, Leaping Through the Laurels, and that's what you see behind me on the trail. These are called Mountain Laurels. Pretty nice. We're also about jumping through the junipers, but we haven't seen any junipers, so we're doing that. But uh, it's pretty cold out here. It's in the 20s or minus 2 Celsius for all my Canadian friends. But uh, we're just heading up. Rebecca's ahead of me, probably a quarter mile by now since I stopped here to do a quick vlog and let everybody know. But as you should see, sun's just now coming up behind me. And this is what the trail looks like early in the morning. So haven't seen anybody else but us. I ate a quick breakfast at the lodge. Pretty nice place to stay. I didn't sleep great, but that wasn't because of the lodge. I took a nap during the day and probably should enough. But I'll probably sleep pretty good tonight after a 10-mile hike. But our goal is to get to Stover Creek Shelter and set up. Hopefully, I'll be able to get rid of my puffy jacket here in a bit. But uh, I'll catch you along the trail if we see anything cool. Have a good one. Good morning. Doing a quick check-in from the uh, approach trail. Uh, I think it's about, I don't know, about nine o'clock in the morning. We've only seen one other hiker so far this morning. Um, but we are trucking along. We decided to name her our book instead of uh, leaping. We're gonna name it Stumbling Stones. Stumbling over stones in the woods because we're stumbling a lot, over a lot of stones. There are quite a few of them out here. But uh, we've made a few climbs already, been passed by one other hiker. Expect to see a few more after the uh, visitor center opens. But right now, pretty quiet out here on the trail. It's still pretty cold. We both have shed our puppies because we started sweating. But it's still about probably minus two Celsius. And probably 25 degrees Fahrenheit but just a quick check-in from the trail hope you guys are doing fine thanks for watching good morning update from the trail um, that is Springer Mountain in front of us and uh, I don't know it's about 11 o'clock still pretty cold up here wind's been blowing pretty good we're making fairly good time we just went over butt kicker mountain that's not its real name but it was for the first mountain real climb it was pretty pretty whatever but uh it wasn't bad but uh some people on the internet ask why people would do the approach trail instead of just driving up and hiking the one mile into springer and i kind of like to think of it as your this you're earning your springer mountain Instead of just driving up there, walking up a mile, saying, yeah, Springer and starting north, this is a little bit harder. Plus, it gets your trail legs coming in a little bit more, and you actually get to make a lot more adjustments on your equipment. And that's what we've been doing. Made about three or four stops. Just equipment, take things off, that kind of stuff. But uh, as you can see, Nana's ahead of me, and we're making a pretty good time. Y'all take care out there. All right, good morning. It's still morning. It's about 11.45, and we are at Black Gap Shelter. This is the shelter. Looks like it's got enough room for probably 8 to 10 people pretty comfortably. Um, it's open to the front. If you look up here, you can see there's a, there's a string going across the top where 
people hang tarps and tent flies and stuff to try to keep the wind out but last night it was really windy um down that little pathway and about 100 yards back is the privy and inside that little tube is a log so you can log that you've been here which i will probably do but uh, this is what a shelter looks like um not much but a Keeps you off the ground and keeps you out of the rain. So if you don't, there are some people who just go shelter to shelter and they stay in shelters the entire trail. They never take it down even. But uh, I'm just not into having a bunch of people snoring around me. All right, catch you guys later. <music> Good afternoon. It's about oh, 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We just left Springer Mountain. We are officially on the trail. We've been, got about a mile behind us. Only 21.96 to go. But who's counting? Oh wait, I am. Um, I did do uh, my first hop by the first blue, or white blaze. and So I started the trail right. And now we're hiking to Stover Creek where we're going to stop for the night. It's about a mile and a half in front of us. I'm out of water, so we're going to stop at the creek and get some more water and eat something and set up our camp. And then I'll probably do a closeout for the day and we'll see. But uh, just had an interesting experience back there. We're coming down from Springer Mountain. There's a couple coming up from Puerto Rico. The girl was wearing the exact same hat I am, except her hers was gray, so it's kind of kind of cool. But anyway, we'll talk to y'all later. All right, we're at Stover Creek Shelter. We're stopping here for the night. Uh, a little over 10.1 miles, but only 2.6 of them count because they're actually on the trail. I'm getting ready to go down to the creek to get some water, um, so we can cook some grub. And that's the shelter behind me. There's Shea Nemo, where we'll be spending the night. You see some other people. There's probably seven or eight other tents in here. But uh, it's actually a really nice shelter. It's got chairs with backs in them and picnic table inside under the awning or whatever you want to call a stupid thing. It's a double-decker shelter. Holds like 16 people. As you can see, you got chairs with backs, picnic tables. So it's actually rather nice. Well, I'm going to go down and get some water. Be back in a little bit.